Lesson 8.7, Count to 100 by Tens. We use the last column of a 100 chart to help us count to 100 by Tens. And see the message to parents at the end of the video. In our last video, 8.6, we counted to 100 by Ones using a 100 chart. When we skip count, we count on by skipping numbers. We skip the same amount of numbers each time and we can skip count to 100 by tens. This column of a 100 chart can help us skip count to 100 by tens. If you look, all the numbers end in zero. The first part of the number goes up by one each time. Look, they all end in zero, and it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and this is actually a 10 with a 0. We say the numbers going down the column go up by 10 more. So here we have 10. 10 more than 10 would be 20, and 10 more would be 30, and 10 more would be 40, and 10 more would be 50. There are 10 numbers in this row. There are 10 numbers in this row. So when we go from this 10 to this 20, it is 10 more. And we can count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Here we have another 100 chart, and we can see there's some numbers missing from this 100 chart. We can see there's a number missing here and here. And because the chart shows the numbers in counting order, we know the missing number comes after 29. It's the next number after 29. We can whisper count. That means we can count quietly by whispering to ourselves or silently in our head. And we can count 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So that missing number must be 30. 30 is one greater than 29. And looking down the column, we can see each number ends with a zero. So we know that whatever number this is, it has to end with a zero. And looking down the column, we can see how each number starts with a one, two, and then whatever this number is, and then it goes four, five, six. So we know in counting order, we would have one, two, three. It would go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Do you know what number comes here? In counting order, we went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That must start with a 7. And they all end with a 0, so it needs a 0. It's the number 70. 70 is 1 greater than 69. After 69, 70 is the next number. In this first 100 chart, we can see there are 10 numbers in each row. There are 10 numbers in this row. There are 10 numbers in this row. This means going down the column, each number will be 10 more. If we start with 3, 10 more would be 13. And 10 more than 13 would be 23. Going down this column, each number will end with a 3 and be 10 more than the number above it. We can see that 10 more than 3 is 13, 10 more than 13 is 23, and 10 more is 33. So we can skip count 10 more by tens starting with 3. 3, 13, 23, 33, 43, 53, 63, 73, 83, and 93. In this one, we can see this column is highlighted. 
Each number is going to end with a 7 and be 10 more than the number above it. 17 is 10 more than 7, 27 is 10 more than 17, and so on. We can count by tens starting with 7. 7, 17, 27, 37, 47, 57, 67, 77, 87, 97. So we can count by tens starting with any column, but if we count by tens from the 10 here, we're going to say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So here's a real quick note to the parents. We introduce tens and ones as place value positions in the middle of first grade math. In fact, it's actually first grade math chapter six, so it's the middle of the school year that we introduce place values. For right now, for kindergarten, we use cube trains of 10 cubes to represent each 10, okay? So that's when we'll be talking about place values. In our next lesson, 8.8, .8, we're going to count by tens. We're going to count sets of 10. I hope you'll join me. I hope you'll hit the like button, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.